Hey guys, what's up? It's Dark Mech here with another mount guide today for 10 easy mounts that you can farm in the world of Warcraft. Now to start off guys, we're going to start with Mim's head or Mimron's head. There's a 0.77% drop chance. It drops in Oldua, which is located in the Storm Peaks, which you will find in Northrend. Now to get Mimron's head, you have to kill Yog 0 on 25 man. Now to start guys, we're going to have to kill these four guardians here, which you can see on my screen. And once you have killed them, when you go back to the Shattered Walkway, you're going to see these four guardians standing around the prison of Yog. Do not talk to the Guardians, guys. If you do, you'll ruin your Yog Zero attempt because they will assist you in the encounter. So what you do is you leave it on 10 man, you run the whole thing when you get to Yogg's prison, you teleport to the base camp again, zone out, set it to 25 man, come back to Yogg's prison and away you go. It's just a quicker way to get through the dungeon. Now to start, uh, Yogg's bitch is going to be in the middle and you need to kill 5 guardians on top of her to activate Yogg to come out in his little green bubble of happiness. When he does come out, you can't attack him, you just have to run around and kill tentacles. The green zappy shit doesn't do anything, you will get picked up from time to time but an AoE ability will kill it. Brain portals will then come up and you will be transported to one of three brain room scenarios. Insanity realistically doesn't matter too much at 100. Just run around, kill the ads, and you're not going to run out of insanity. Um, kill the ads, come back up, Yogg's bubble's gone, you can kill Yogg and not get your mount. The next mount we're going to is this Swift White Hawk Strider. It has a 3.49% drop chance. It's located in Heroic Magister's Terrace. Uh, drops off Kale. This instance is located on the Isle of Kaldanus. Uh, and guys, I'm just going to skip sort of through to the end, but just run all the way to the end of this dungeon. Now, just be aware, I ran all the way uh, to the end with all the trash following me. Uh, I got to this RP bit and then Kale actually ended up despawning. So uh, just be aware of that. I don't know if it was kind of because I dragged so much trash to him or not, but I just had to wait for him to repop and then I could kill him. But you're going to get RP at the start and RP at the end. And then you can also not get your mount. So the next mount that we are going to go to, guys, is the Blue Proto Drake. It's got a 1.14% drop chance. It's located in Utgard Pinnacle, Heroic Utgard Pinnacle from Skadi. Uh, this one's located in Howling Fjord. Uh, which is located in Northrend again. Uh, now, as of 6.2, the blue Proto Drake can also drop from the time walking version of this dungeon, also. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, I have uh, I have left the whole run in here. I don't know sort of why I didn't just skip to the end, but uh, we're going on an adventure now, guys. Anyway, so run through all of this crap. You can skip this boss if you haven't been in here before, but you pretty much just want to run all the way through here until you get to Scardi. Now, Scardi is going to be the second or the third boss you'll encounter, sorry, if you include this one. So come around here and you can see our mount is sitting there with Scardi. They'll fuck off and we want to get all the way up to the end. And what you want to do, guys, is you want to kill these guys and loot the harpoons. Now, what happens is Scardi flies up to the end there and sort of stays there. It'll say he's near the uh, the turrets. You want to pick up the harpoons. Three of them into him will drop him down. You can kill him and have a go at getting your mount. So the next one, guys, we're going to is Obsidian Sanctum. Now, you may have heard back in the day or not, uh, n never gone to OS3D, which was Obsidian Sanctum Three Drakes. Now, both the mounts that I'm going to show you here, guys, the Black Drake and the Twilight Drake, they are both 100% drop rates, provided that you leave the three dra drakes up, hence why it was always called OS3D. So Obsidian Sanctum is located in Wormerous Temple, which is in Dragonblight, which we are again in Northrend. So we'll go ahead and zone in, guys, and you'll see the Boths in the middle here. And I'll point out the three purple drakes to the left, middle, and right there. And what you want to do is leave them up and just kill the boss. Now, all the trash will come to you, but being level 100 is not a problem at all. And you'll see when I loot the boss that we will have our 100% drop rate mount. So 10 man will get you the black drake, 25 will get you the twilight drake, guys. Next one up is the Anixian Drake, a 1.4% drop chance. Uh, both of these, or both, sorry, both difficulties 10 and 25 will drop Anixia's mount for you. It's located, obviously, in Anixia's lair, which is in Duswallow Marsh, which is in Kalimdor also. So you go ahead, zone in, you'll kill Anixia, being level 100, you'll smash her, uh, you won't sort of have any problems in here, but you still have to go through the phases. So you can see she'll hit phase 2, she'll fly all the way to the end of the map here, she'll then drop down, she'll then die, and then you'll get a chance of getting your mount. Next one we're going to, back to Burning Crusade, guys, is the Reigns of the Raven Lord. This one's got a 1.64% drop chance. It's located in Heroic Sethic Halls, uh, which is located in Terracar Forest in the Outland, and it's in the Ring of Observance. Uh, 
Now, if you've just returned to the game, guys, or you, you haven't done this in a long time, you still need a druid to summon the Raven Lord. You do not need a druid to summon it anymore. I'm just going to skip to the end rather than running all the way through this one. The boss, the Raven Lord, is just up there like a normal boss. So you just run in, kill, and hope to God you get your mount. Next one, guys, bit of a cop-out, but we're going to Dragon Soul because there are three mounts located in Dragon Soul. The first one is Experiment 12B, which you can see I'm showing you there. It drops on 10-man normal, 25 normal, or 10 heroic, 25 heroic. I'll track on. Uh, it has a really low drop chance. No exact figure was available. The other two in here are the Reigns of the Blazing Drake, which drops again on normal and heroic 10 or 25 man. It's around 1%. And the other is the Lifebinders Handmaiden, which drops on heroic only 10 or 25, and it's been confirmed as a 3% drop chance. It's located in the Dragon Soul, which is in Tanaris, in the Caverns of Time, which is on Kalimdor as well, guys. So go ahead and zone into Dragon Soul. Now, you're going to have to kill a few bosses on the way there. So you're going to have to kill these four first. Uh, once you've killed them, you'll be able to go through the most painful pacing event Blizzard ever implemented in the game. You'll be able to kill Ultraxion, no real issues at all, and you'll be able to try and attempt to get your mount. Uh, and as I said, guys, there is there was no sort of exact figure for it. They said it was around 1%, but I have never, ever seen Experiment 12B drop. Then you're going to have to go through Warmaster Blackhorn, and you're going to have to do Spine of Deathwing. Now, I have put a Spine of Deathwing guide up, guys. It is really not difficult, though, guys. What you want to do is you get an amalgamation from killing the little uh, fiery tentacles. You want to soak nine bloods that you kill over it and blow it up at each plate. Now, the way you don't get rolled off is by running back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, or across the back. Uh, if you don't want to do that, though, you can just kill a tentacle and stand in the little fiery hole which it makes, and you'll just be gripped in place there. Um, but there's been lots of guides up for that, so I don't know if anyone would still be having trouble with that. There is one on my page, though, if you are, so check that out, because you need it to get to the madness of Deathwing to have a go at the last two mounts. So the last two mounts, as I said, guys, Reigns of the Blazing Drake and Life Binders Handmaiden. You have to kill Madness of Deathwing. Now, it doesn't matter which platform you start off on here. Um, you just want to be able to kill, you just kill them all, and again, you're not going to have any troubles, Impale's not going to do any damage to you, um, the Shard's not going to do any damage to you, and, uh, Deathwing just falls over when he falls down. So then you're going to loot his little skull fragment, and hopefully get one of the mounts that you are chasing. Uh, so that is nine mounts down, guys. The last mount we're going to go for is Alakir's Drake of the South Wind. Now, this one's located in the Throne of the Four Winds off Alakir, which is the second boss in here, and I'm going to show you how to get through the first one. Uh, so this is located in Oldham, which again, we're on Kalimdor, and again, the mount drops on 10 normal, 10 heroic, 25 normal, or 25 heroic. Uh, obviously, you get more gold out of heroic, which is always nice, but the uh, the first boss in here, guys, is going to be three bosses. We're going to go over the platform to the nature one. We're going to kill it, and we're going to pu pull it over near the, uh, near the next sort of wind ramp. The reason being is once they're dead, you've got 60 seconds to pretty much clean all of this up. So kill that, tag the frost one, go over and kill the wind dude, come back, kill the frost one, and that is it. Then we're going to click on the winds and we're going to go over to Thundarian's uh, double or brother, I don't know how he fits in law, Alakir here. We're going to kill Alakir now. Again, Alakir drops fairly quick and there's not going to be any problems. There's lightning and there's blizzards and there's rain and shit like that, but you can see he just dies extremely quickly. You're not going to have any problems here, guys. You're going to go down, loot this, and hopefully you're going to get your mount. But that is it, guys. That's 10 new mounts to farm in the world of Warcraft. Thank you very much again for stopping by and checking out the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you next time. See ya.